Wow, look at all that snow out there. That is crazy. So the plan is I need to get the International unstuck because them pigs need fed. And I would like to unload some of the wheat we got in our bin to use as pig feed, but that is going to be difficult. Let's get to it. Who is this? Hello? Stevio, I just slid into the ditch again. I need you to come get me out. Uh, what? I slid into the ditch, and this is the second time today. My boss is gonna kill me. Where are you at? Off Route 61. Okay, uh, I guess I'll be there in five minutes. I just gotta get the truck warmed up. Hurry, another patrol car can drive by anytime. Alright, I'll try to get there as quick as possible. Alright, I owe ya. Alright. Bye. Well, you heard her. I'm scared of what she will do if we don't get there quickly. So, I, hopefully this truck starts up right away so we can get there quick enough. Come on, girl. Uh, come on. Oh, I wanted to go there. Oh, there it goes. Man, it is cold this morning. I'm gonna let it warm up just a little bit. This is gonna be hard on this engine, but we gotta get there, so... She might, uh, beat us up if we don't get there quick enough. Luckily, we cleared all of our roads off the other day, so... Should it be too hard... ...of a journey over there? Much snow there is around here. I can't believe. I don't know. I'm really worried that we might not get to end the field quick enough this year. Well, this looks like it's a lot nicer. Should be able to. I don't know exactly where she's at. I don't really know the roads here yet. I just go by landmarks like uh, this uh, old uh, barn on the side of the road. I think that's where it's located. Oh, there that truck is. Oh man. Oh man, are we gonna be able to get this? I guess. Let's lower this snow plow and see if we can push through. Whew. Not doing too bad of a job here. Wow, I wonder how she got up in there. That's crazy. Oh, this thing is working nice. I just don't know how we're gonna turn around. Alright, so we will turn around right here, hopefully. We finally got this thing turned around. I'm gonna try to dig it out as close as possible really want to get to the front of this truck to try to pull it. Might have to go to the rear just the way it's located. Hmm. This is not going to be easy. We got it backed up here. Now we just got to get the chain hooked up. So I told her to go warm up in the house quickly. So she's getting hot chocolate. So that's old grandma nanny over there. So she uh, is taking care. So we're going to pull this out. Hopefully she won't even have to go. So we'll just put this thing into uh, neutral. Alright, so we're into neutral. And we just have to get this chain over there. Now we just have to pull this old truck out. Ugh, come on. Gotta yank it out. There we go. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Old Ford, you don't let this Chevy show you up. Don't let this Chevrolet show you up. You can do it. 
Just need to get that front out of the ditch. Oh man, we are pulling hard now. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Alright. I think. So we loosened up the chain. Don't know. I think I might try to back that up myself. Just undo this chain. Alright, so now I'm gonna keep this running for her. Officer Jess, are you in there? Just a second. Alright, your your truck is ready, so you can take it out. I have it warming up for you, so it's good for patrol. Thanks so much. You owe me one. Hopefully I don't call you again tomorrow. Oh, you better not. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Now that that's done, we're going to head down to Casey's. Uh, and that way we can uh, hopefully get a nice hot chocolate. We deserve it after all that freezing in the snow. Ooh, wow. Somebody lost their tractor there. That's not good. Oh, no. Casey's isn't plowed out yet. You know what? I know, I think this implement dealer down the road here has something. I'm going to ask him if I can borrow it. Help plow out this uh, Casey's so people can get gas and everything they need so they're not stranded. Alright, so I will leave that right there. I was thinking on use, asking if I can borrow this bulldozer, but I think I saw they have something better. Maybe I'll say I'll I'll uh, push out their lot if I can take it down to Casey's really quick. So this is what I'm talking about. Now this will push out a lot nice and quick. So it won't take us too long to push their lot out. Pushing snow. Try to get it up as close to the fence as possible. Wow, this snow, it doesn't take you very long to get a huge pile in front of you. There we go, we got another pile pushing in front of us. Kind of hard because the snow just basically takes us wherever it wants to. Alright, so we are done pushing out their lot. Now all we need to do is push out Casey's lot. So if you... The other day I actually pushed this out, but uh, I didn't have this and I didn't do a very good job and we got a lot more snow after that. So I think I'm going to use this to make this nice and clean. Get another push of this giant plow. Wow, that's huge mounds right there. Her uh, parking lot here is actually bigger than what it looks, that's for sure. Take this giant. Try not to bury a car. There we go. Working nicely now. Now we gotta push out this entrance right here. There we go. We'll back up. Take all the bottom out we can. Stuff we left behind. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit hard steering when you're pushing all the way to the pavement there. Sometimes the pavement wants to grab it. almost think this is easier to use than the big snow plow from the DOT department. There we go. 
push that to the back. I think that's about it. Oh, I'm gonna have to get behind these cars. There we go. I don't want to clip one of them back of them cars. That's not good. I'm not insured to do this, so that would be a bad move financially. We did a way better job than we did the last time. We should definitely get a free hot chocolate this time. Didn't get one last time. Rude. Alright, so we got it all plowed up now, so I think it doesn't look too bad. I'm not gonna scoop by hand. That's let's work more in a hot chocolate, let's just say that. I'm really in with the boss that kind of worked really nice I probably should have at least uh, blew off the snow right here but oh well they weren't paying me uh, now I think it's time for our hot chocolate and then we need to figure out what we're gonna do with our pig feed kind of like how I did it I know some of you could probably do a lot better but pretty this is pretty good for me so it's nice and clear so people, if they need gas, they can get it now, and I can get my hot chocolate for free. Alright, that hot chocolate is good. Now, we gotta figure out if we can get out this international tractor and feed our pigs, and we gotta figure out a better way to feed these pigs, too. I just couldn't help myself. I had to go out in the field and do some donuts. This is what we used to call as kids is donuts. Doing cookies. Uh, I guess basically spinning out around in the field. It's just so much fun. I know. I know it's so immature, but it's so fun. Spinning around. Woo! It's fun. I'm gonna get stuck and get in so much trouble. Let's get back to business. Hopefully we can get over this big mound of snow here. Jump it. Woo! Oh, that wasn't even bad at all. Alright, push the Oh, I wasn't trying to do that. Oh, man. I think I just made it worse. Alright, so we're going to go as close beside this tractor as possible. Uh, not really doing how I wanted to do it, but oh well. So... I wish I could find my shovel. I just need to dig this out. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, oh, is it coming? Okay. Alright, so once the snow melts around here, the plan is to get another gravity wagon so we could basically hold different products in each so we are gonna dump this wagon into our silo over here now this is gonna be a hard part we'll pull it through here Ooh. it's going it's blowing some black smoke but it is pulling it through We're going to dump this. And go fill this wagon up with wheat afterwards. So now the question is, will we be able to get to our bin set? 
Well, we need to go get our our plow again to help us out. Yeah, this wagon doesn't take the snow as good when it's empty. It's not really designed, these gravity wagons, for snow. Alright, so I'm a little worried. Hoping we can get this under the auger. So it's probably easy when we got it unloaded. Oh man. There's no way. So I'm going to have to get run back over and get our truck and just push that out. There's no way that that's no way that's going to happen. Keep that running just so it stays warm. Yeah. This is deep. This is almost close to my waist. I'm going to have to get the truck and try to basically push it this way and uh, then we'll have to back it up. No oh, man, this stuff is deep. I can barely move in it. Why did I take this way? We're going to I'm going to try to get to that truck sometime today. Does this Ford truck have enough to blow through this? This is about head high. Oh no. That is going to... We're going to have to get a couple running starts probably for that. Ugh. Ugh. No. Got to back up try it again, I guess. We didn't have to put more weight or basically push through that. This thing has a lot of torque power to it. Push it out of the way. There we go. That looks like I think that's good enough. Uh, now I, I need to get park the truck out of the way. Alright, we'll park all this over to the side here. And I really did a number on that disc there. That's just crazy. And we'll walk through the deep snow. Whew, this stuff is deep. Think I aligned it properly so we can still be underneath the grain spout. Get the wagon. We'll have to see. It is not easy backing up these wagons. So, I don't know where I broke this at. I must have started. It looked like it came undone somewhere when I was bumping this wagon around all the snow. And it was jamming around. I must have broke this axle. Oh, man. Just, oh. I don't think, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this to the pigs today, so I'll have to get a jack, fix this. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to take a piece in to get welded to the local blacksmith. Uh, I guess I'll close the tarp and just leave this tractor right here. All right, the tarp is closed. Uh, get around here to the tractor. We'll just shut it off right here, I guess. Man, that is so much of a pain that broke right now. So I must have jarred that loose when I was is bouncing around all this uneven uh, snow terrain. Good news is we got new trucks on their way, I heard. 
to our lot. So we need to get ready to accept these new trucks. Uh, that's why I was moving uh, some of my equipment the other day because I wanted to be able to put them in this building. So everything, I think we are good. So now we just need to wait, see when they're delivered. They should be delivered any time. Here is said about noon, so I guess they have a half hour still. Uh, wow, look at that grain truck. I need to fix that. All right, so it looks like our delivery is coming up now. Wow, them trucks are pretty. Woo! Beautiful trucks there. So glad they didn't get stuck somewhere. And that trailer kind of seems low to the ground, so definitely a good thing we plow, that's for sure. So I'll probably just unload these on the road. This road doesn't really get used a lot, so we probably won't have an issue unloading these right here. We need to get these unloaded. Man, these are beautiful trucks. We went into contract deal with uh, Mack Trucks here. They just sent us two brand new Mack Anthem semis here. Wow, are they beautiful. I'm not... I don't know which one I like more. The white or the black. Black has more of the old school... Uh, steps there uh, I kind of like how that looks just the appearance of it I don't know why but this has more of the plastic covering wind deflector plastic covering uh, steps uh, I mean I kind of like the white I really like that uh, off kind of downtone black there that just pops I, with the tires uh, Looks like it has Michelin XZLs on it. Whew. I just love the emblems on the back. Whew. And the pipes. And all the chrome graphics. The little uh, bulldog on it. So this trailer is actually kind of cool how it unloads. So I'm going to have them unfold this trailer. And then we're going to back these up into our building. Unfolds just like that nice and down so you could basically have uh, your back axle on this and not really move it around too much so now comes the tricky part of backing this out without tearing off the bumpers so both of these have little bulldog bull bars on it so I think that's good for this country because we got a lot of cattlemen over here uh, Jake and Austin by the way uh, got a Sometimes if cattle get out, they could do a number. They can almost total a truck if they accidentally get in the road. So probably smart to have them on front. So that's why we got them. But these things are fully loaded. Oh, look at that. Starts right up. Woo. Hardly any miles on this thing. So, man, this is beautiful inside. I'm going to have to see if I get one of these to try out. Just so I can be a better salesman. Maybe. Our truck's still in Mike's garage, so we might have to uh, use this because we don't have any other truck with other than our uh, flat top over there. Slow. There we go. Back this girl up. Wow. That thing is just immaculate. Just love it. Gonna have to pressure wash it off even though it's like six degrees because it's got a little dirt on it. Don't need that. So I'm gonna get these in our little uh, shed here. Our show shed even though it's kind of old. Back that girl up right like that. Whew. 
just look at the interior of this thing. The sleeper. Ooh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Got a whole bunch of different color LEDs on there. We got switches for switches and buttons for days. It'll take me a while to figure out what all these do. Beautiful truck. I'm thinking this one is my favorite. Ah, just look at that bulldog on the front of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Kind of like the LED lights, too, and all the chrome. Let's see if this uh, old girl starts up. Looks like this has the Ford uh, mirrors, too, on it. Kind of nice. It has a whole bunch of mirrors. Really easy to... That's kind of the blind spot mirrors up there. There we go. We'll back this girl up. No, I don't know. I kind of like them blind spot mirrors up there, even though they kind of ruin the appearance of the, the front hood. I think they're important to have. Especially if you're not an experienced semi-driver. Alright, back this girl up right there. Just beautiful, beautiful truck there, that's for sure. Gonna have to get some more of them. Gonna have to get some more. But, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.